Well, this week, the powerful Silicon Valley search engine firm Google announced a new research project in alternative energy. Google is investing hundreds of millions to find ways to make renewable energy sources such as solar affordable. Google is one of a growing number of Silicon Valley companies going green. So David Sparks from Green 960, how big a leap is this for Google? Um, it makes sense. Logically, you know, they're vertically integrating because they are an enormous consumer of energy. Uh, it is not exactly clear, but they have over 500,000 servers that is powering their technology all over the world. And uh, they are eating up a lot of energy and they're trying to produce a lot of it themselves, but they're really not in this field that much. And this really was just a grand announcement saying we're going to achieve this a huge goal. And I kind of equate what they're trying to say is sort of JFK saying, let's put a man on the moon. And <laughs> so they're making this grand statement. We're going to get one gigawatt of power cheaper than coal. And that is their goal, what they're trying to do. A Google watt? Is that what it's called? A gigawatt, <laughs> actually. Oh, gigawatt. A solar wait. panel on every server? Is that the, the new watchword? Well, if the servers are indoors, there's not going to be much well, sun coming in <laughs> at that time. Tr translate that gigawatt for us. Well, they, they say that it empowers all of the city of San Francisco. And I know that uh, Hoover Dam uh, produces uh, more than two gigawatts just over. So that's sort of the relationship there. You know, they, they have dabbled in solar energy. They have a solar company and a wind company. Um, they have produced one of the largest facilities uh, or uh, corporate facilities for solar power, creating uh, 1.6 megawatts of there, which they say uh, powers a thousand homes. Um, but really, what this announcement is saying is we're hiring, really, because, yeah, it's they're getting into an area they don't really have a lot of experience in. And there's tons of companies that are doing this that are in the green renewable energy space. And they were very, very vague about how much money they're spending. But what they were very specific about were all the jobs they're going to be hiring for. You know, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, physicists, scientists, uh, people, property uh, managers, uh, people who know about regulatory issues, construction workers. So, I mean... This is it, it's a clear that they're saying, you know, you could work for this startup company that's constantly fighting to make money or why don't you join Google? We're flush with cash. Mm -hmm. they are they, sorry. Are they diversifying then? They'd be well, energy. What they're saying, this is coming out of Google.org, which is the philanthropic arm of Google. And yet Larry Page, one of the co-founders of Google, said this is going to be a cash flow positive project. Uh, when that will happen, it's not clear, although he said this is going to happen in years, not decades. So it really is a call out to people saying, you know, if you have the talent in this area, and they're going to hire something between 20 and 30 people this year, if you have talent in this area, come here because, you know, we got great benefits, great food, and the solution may happen when you're here. And honestly, I think if they are able to pull this off, what they claim, one gigawatt of power within a year, uh, I think it will dwarf the revenue that they're making from uh, search ads because uh, they say they're going to license this technology out and everybody can use it. That's this. what I was going to ask. I mean, doesn't if Google doesn't goes doesn't solve the rest of the companies going, doesn't it pull people in uh, in in terms of really doing a, a domino ripple effect that other companies are going to try to emulate them? Well, yeah. In I mean, possibly like Yahoo. I mean, there's a you know, as we know, this is a very very hot thing that's going on, going green, renewable energy. But uh, Larry Brilliant, who's the executive director of Google.org, said what he likes about this is, you know, you can't argue with this topic. We want to make cheaper energy. I mean, who? where's the, the negative side of that, that effort? Although uh, people who are invested in Google may say, oh, well, I don't know if this is the best thing for Google to be doing, to be going into an area that they have no experience. I should also mention that Kleiner Perkins, who's heavily invested in Google, the VC firm, uh, they have made major announcements about going uh, going to renewable energy. And just a couple of weeks ago, they brought on uh, Al Gore on the on the board, and he is going to be a deal maker. Okay, deal is the word coming out of Google, and maybe we'll all have cheaper energy in the end. Thank you, David.